Greetings YouTube and welcome to another bargain video. We start out with a Mouse Guard uh, collection. I have not actually read any of the Mouse Guard. I do want to own the video, uh, the, uh, the uh, game someday. Um, that would be cool. I don't have a copy. We have Rings by Rachel Church, which is a book about, you got it, rings, jewelry. I have a fondness for rings and precious stones. I may not keep that, but I'm going to give it a give it a once once through. Then we have Swords, a history of gladiators, uh, musketeers, samurai, swashbucklers, and Olympic champions. That should be intriguing. The Wisdom of the Serpent, the Myths of Death, Rebirth, and Resurrection. We picked that up at a charity drive for a animal shelter. Uh, we have the Blu-ray of Total Recall. Not a great movie, but this is an upgrade from the DVD I have, and it's got the commentary track, and I want to listen to the commentary track. It's also the extended director's cut, so maybe that's a superior cut to the theatrical cut? I don't know. Um, we have Extinction Jura Jurassic Predators, which um, made me smile, and I think I paid a buck for it, and um, yeah, I want to see that once. That looked very dumb. We have Red Tails, which is a story about a black uh, Fighter Squadron. We have my babysitter. Is it on my on my babysitter's a vampire, which apparently got some good scores, um, uh, reviews on IMDb. So I'm like, oh, I'll give it a view. We have McGruber, which I've never seen. We have Ugly Americans. I never even heard of this. I bought it blind at uh, uh, Goodwill, but you know, I said strange adult kind of animated thing so yeah I'll, I'll go with that and we have the devil's reign which is notoriously a horrible film but this has a commentary track so i want to listen to it this is not a good i've seen clips from this this is not a good movie um and apparently according to Ernest borgenine who plays the baddie in this um it was made with the funding from the mafia and he was never paid we have Tim's Vermeer, which is a documentary by Penn and Teller about a guy trying to figure out how Vermeer did his painting style. Then we have the Blu-ray edition of Madagascar's uh, Three, Europe's Most Wanted, and uh, Afro Circus is a really funny song, and my wife finds it delightful. We have some Eagles on a CD, we have some Lady Gaga, we have some Robert Cray, Pure Disco, Sticks, Eagles, and Steve Miller. And again, we got that at the uh, at the charity uh, uh, drive for the animal shelter. Um, all right, so that's the digital and uh, book section. Next, we're going to go on to some of the otter things. Rawr. Um, these are cat socks that say fierce on them. I got for my wife. They've never been worn. Um, I thought they they made me smile, so I thought she could definitely use them, and she got a chuckle out of it. We got this chime, which has a pretty decent sound, which will you know soon be annoying my neighbors. We have a pumpkin, part of my wife's pumpkin army. She uh, has a collection of pumpkins uh, here at the house, and this one opens up, and you can put a tea light inside, which is kind of cute, and it's adorable. I mean, it's nothing, it's nothing vintage or anything, but we paid like 50 cents for it, so that was cool. We have this bowl, and yes, I know I bought a ceramic bowl, and I really shouldn't, didn't, don't need another ceramic bowl, but I really like the shape and the glazing on the inside. I mean, the outside was intentionally left fairly. Um, subdued but the inside is just beautiful I picked that up at a yard sale for five bucks I'm like oh, I gotta own that um, I picked up some vintage dice and I paid 50 cents for these us uh, a antique place that I used I frequent uh, went out of business in Raymond New Hampshire and I went to the, for the clothing sale and got a bunch of really cool things for a very low price um, here we have an ice tool I've always wanted one of these, and I got it at a barn sale for a dollar, and I'm like, I don't really have a use for this thing, but it is so damn cool looking, and and very dangerous looking, that I'm like, ah, vintage, it's nice shape, so I'm like, okay, I'll pick that up for a buck. Um, and we have these, which I picked up, actually, they, they say eight, but I paid eight for the set, 
And these are cast iron and they're exactly the same size that I've been looking for a pair that are exactly the same size of a specific proportion and this is the proportion I really was looking for. So these are going to end up in a weapons build. I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to mount these yet, whether I'm going to mount them onto a shaft or maybe mount something on the outside of these. Um, I haven't decided yet. That's, that's still up in the air. Um, but I think they're going to make a really cool kind of a mace head. Uh, we have this thing, which is the, whoops, I have that backwards, which is the uh, Rolly kit, which was a thing like, as seen on TV kind of thing. It rolls out until it's flat and it's got all these little containers. I've never owned one. There's the clip. I would probably get a Velcro strap to back this up because I'm not sure if I 100% trust the clip once it has things in it. But I thought, you know what that would be cool for? Dice. So yeah, I'm gonna organize that. Maybe I'll do a little video on that someday. Uh, we have this saw here, which is a Craftsman uh, plywood saw blade. Um, which has got some really nice, big, chunky teeth on it. And I picked this up, it's 12 inch, picked this up for five bucks, and it looks like it's in really nice condition. So I was, um, I'm gonna do very horrible things to it, but at the moment, it's in really nice shape. So I was like, for five dollars for this? Cool. Uh, we have a, uh, a dog bone wrench. Now, I actually own a dog bone wrench that I happen to really like. The thing is, the dog bone wrench I have has free spinning ends. This doesn't. Click. Click. So these stay where you put them. I've discovered because the one I have free spinning, I'll make an adjustment and I'll put it down and then I'll go do something and I'll go to pick it up back up again and it will spin on me. So now I don't have the size that I'm currently working with in the right position, which is, you know, you, you want it perpendicular to the to the handle most of the time though you can put put it on the end and do I do a fast spin that way as well um, but it's uh this is going to be uh, an improvement over that I believe though I'm gonna have a hard time just throwing the other one away or donating it because it's German it, it's it's an it's a nice tool but it just has spinning as opposed to not spinning so and Thornton's not a horrible brand so here you go um, this is just a simple little bit driver it's got space for driver driver tips in there uh, it's nothing big but i discovered that in downstairs in my shop that there were times when having this kind of a driver as opposed to the t driver which i normally use would be an advantage and it was like a buck so i'm like okay i'll give it a try see if i like it if i do maybe i'll get myself something better a uh, set of pliers here i picked those up at a yard sale uh, i kind of particularly like these little ones um, Sometimes you got to get into small spaces. And speaking of small, this is an adorable hammer. Isn't that an adorable hammer? It's an adorable hammer. Bing, bing, bing. I have a fondness for hammers. What can I say? Uh, here we have a speed square. But I like this speed square because this moves. And the other speed squares I have don't. In fact, this will probably replace the speed square I knew, use a lot in the shop, which is this, this piece of plastic thing. And this is, in a, this is a metal and it's adjustable, and it's a Stanley, and I don't know how old it is. It's a nice shape, I mean, it's got a patina on it, but it's in fully functional uh, shape, and again, I paid next to nothing for this thing, so I'm like, okay, cool, I, I can get a lot of more use out of this because I can set angles and make more complex, you know, uh, layout lines and things on stuff much more easily with this than with, uh, with uh, my current one. And I do, I recently actually made my own angle gauge, but it's just two pieces of metal. It's good for copying something and then transferring it. But this will let me lay out a specific angle because I can set it with these, you know, with these gauges here. We have a very large set of channel locks, which is going downstairs into the shop. I mean, these are ridiculously large and I paid, I was like, three or four bucks for those, I think. And we have a machete. Now, I didn't have a machete this shape in my collection. Um, it's it got no marks on it, so I cannot figure out where it's from. It's got a plastic handle. It's pretty comfortable. I mean, it's a little bit slightly large for my hand, but not too bad. I have, my fingers are not as long um, as my palms are. They don't really proportion. They're kind of shorter than my palms. My father says I have German hands. I don't know what 
if that's true or not. And the edge does need a little bit of love, but it's not in horrible shape. The person didn't uh, overly abuse it. And I paid five bucks for that. So I'm like, for five bucks? It's a cool looking machete. And I can always use another machete in my collection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My wife was so thrilled when I brought that home. Okay, we got one more section today. We have an opti um, optical trackball mouse. This is a thumb driven. I don't know if it's going to work better or be harder to use while wearing a brace, but I thought I'd give it a try. I'm not wearing the braces today because I'm giving my hands a break. Sometimes wearing those braces can be um, just really irritating to my skin. So that's why they're not on today. But yes, this may work for me. I'm going to try it out on my Chromebook before I go to the trouble of hooking it up to my uh, PC because you know, you have to get cords behind the desk and all that kind of crap. So we'll try it out my Chromebook first, which is much easier to get things on and off. Uh, we have a pipe clamp, something I've never owned. I've never owned a pipe clamp. And this was, uh, full price was eight bucks. I paid four. So I paid four bucks and I don't think you, I can get the pipe for four bucks. Um, though this one was, was cut off. So it was from a larger piece, obviously. And the great thing about a pipe clamp is that you can detach this and attach it to attach the clamp itself, and you can essentially create a clamp of any size you want to, as long as you got a pipe to put it on. And you can easily turn, take this off, put it back on again, so you can use this for spreading things apart as well as put it, um, bringing them together. So, um, so that is can be useful as well. Uh, so I thought that was pretty darn cool. I've never tried one. See if I like it. If I like it, I may get more. I don't know. And here we have the prize of this video. This is a Mitotoyu set of vernier calipers. These are 300 millimeter set. Um, obviously, it's a metric set. Um, and these were never used. The battery was still in its original BIS blister pack, and it works. This tag was still here where it, was, where it belongs, talking to you about how to start it up. And this is the readout itself. These things are in completely new condition. Um, it's just a beautiful piece of measuring and um, instrumentation. It's, it's beautiful. This is not going downstairs into my shop. It's way too dusty down there. This is going to stay up here where I can keep it safe. But just, just wonderful. It is so nice. And these normally retail like for like 190 bucks. And I got this for 20 bucks. Again, brand new, never used. I mean, obviously it's not new in the sense that the foam is going to be actually slightly aged here. So this has been around for a while, but the person never opened it, never used it. Now the place I got this at, the guy had been a major ham radio uh, uh, user, lots of ham radio equipment. If you were into ham radio equipment, it was, it was a treasure trove of older equipment. He also had some really uh, interesting uh, older dive equipment, it's a couple of spear guns. I did not pick up a spear gun. Uh, my wife thanked me for that. Um, and I'm sure that in 1982, his house was considered to be high tech, but there were like intercoms and radios built into the wall and the, all the, the, the fashion of the place was all a time capsule to like the 80s. It was quite interesting. Um, and I'm glad that I can get back to, to estate sales again because I do thoroughly enjoy them. Not just for the, not just for the deals, but because um, you can find some really interesting fashion things and you know style, and you get to walk around inside somebody else's house legally and not get arrested. It's very very cool. So yeah, this is the deal of the video right here, Mitutoyu. 300 millimeter pair of vernier calipers in brand new condition. And I'm, I'm gonna keep the documentation with this because it just makes me smile. Uh, I'm gonna keep that because it's just cool. It's cool that I've got still got all the documentation for it um, and, the, and the, you know, the, the, the instructions and everything, which is something you don't find uh, a lot when you are uh, picking things up at, you know, thrift shops and estate sales. Alrighty, so. Thank you for being here for this bargain video. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope that you will return for the next one.